Cinematic renders are hard to achieve, and of course things like camera, details and atmosphere all play a major part. But the single most important thing in creating a cinematic render is lighting. In this video, I will not only explain you the basic concepts, but we will also implement these techniques in multiple examples so that you can understand it better. If you want to support the channel, make sure to check out the Cinematic Compositor. You will get a 25% discount with the link in description. All of the project files will be available on my Patreon. Link is in the description. So first off, if you don't know what cinematic lighting is, it refers to a lighting style used in cinema movies. It can not only help you add depth into your renders, but also make them look interesting. Now, if you are referring to real-life cinematography, it can rely on many things and it will have different results. But in 3D, cinematic renders are dark, mysterious and reflective. And these types of renders are fun to create. So let's start with the base concept. Look at this render. It is just some boring monkey head and there is no depth. But if I rotate the light to the back, you will start to notice that the shot becomes more interesting. There is only one rule you have to follow, and that is to keep your renders dark from the side of the camera. Lights in front of the subject makes the render washed out and it looks completely terrible. You have to always make sure to avoid that. This technique is called reverse key lighting. This works with all kinds of shots, but there is a catch and I will talk about that later in the video. Let's start with something practical. Press Shift plus A and add an area light. If you go into this tab, you can control the strength, size and the sharpness of the area light. It would be better if you switch this option to the 3D cursor so that you can rotate the light around the 3D cursor. My camera is facing this side, so I will rotate this on the x-axis until it touches the edge of the plane. You can see that the shot is already looking good, but we can make it better. I will increase the size of the area light so that it matches the size of the plane. You will notice that the object, which is our main focus, will look dark and we don't want something like that. To fix this, add an area light and move it to the top. Rotate it slightly until you get something like this. I only want it to affect the subject, so to do that, go into the Object tab, go under the Shading tab, and you will find Light Linking. Make sure your new area light is selected, and create a new light link, drag the subject into this box, and you will immediately notice that the light will now only affect the main subject. I will also disable the volume scatter, because my scene has a volume scatter cube, and I don't want this light to affect it. The lighting looks amazing, and you can use my cinematic compositor to add some color grade and adjustments. Just in case, if you are wondering about the camera settings, I am using an 80 mm focal length with these depth of field settings. Now that you know the concept, let's light a character. I'm using this halo character from a sketch fab and I've changed some material settings, nothing special. Add an area light and place it opposite to the camera. You can copy the location and rotation of the camera to do this quickly. You have to enable the copy attributes add on for that. Play with the scale and intensity until you get some good highlights. Now, of course, we will add a light for the character, add an area light and move it to the top, rotate it slightly and you are good to go. I won't use light linking here because the light is not affecting anything except the character. I will disable the volume scatter for the backlight because it creates a weird effect and this is it. I am of course using some other stuff to make this render stand out. I have added a volume shader on a cube to add some fog. I have also used a high focal length camera with these depth of field settings. If you had noticed, I have used a light texture in the area light. I will talk more about that in a minute. In the end, I have used my cinematic compositor to add some effects and adjustments. I will be using this model for this example. I have again used the same technique with two area lights. One at the back which creates these highlights and one at the top which adds some light on the main subject. About the light texture that I was talking about earlier, area lights are sharp and they don't look good in the reflections. 
so I have used textures like these to create some shapes in the reflections. You can get these for free on my Patreon. Just open the shader editor and check use nodes. Add an image texture and open the image you downloaded. This definitely comes in handy and I use it a lot. I have also added a cylinder with a mission shader to add some red color, nothing special. In the end, I have used my cinematic compositor to add some effects and adjustments. Now what if you are rendering something like a wall? How will you light that because you can't add the light behind the wall as it will block the light? Add an area light and try to place it on the top of the wall, scale it down, and if this doesn't work, try to move your camera and rotate it slightly to adjust the lighting. Here's a bonus tip you need to know. Make sure to use volumetrics. They help add mystery and depth to your renders, and they're very simple to set up. First, add a cube that covers your scene. Then, open the shader editor, delete the principled BSDF shader, and add a volume scatter node. Connect it to the volume socket, reduce the density, and increase the anisotropy. This will give you the best results, and I use it for most of my scenes. Let's do a recap. Creating cinematic lighting in your renders starts with understanding a simple idea. You want the light to come from behind your subject. This adds depth and drama to your shots and helps avoid that flat, washed out look. The trick is to keep the camera side dark while placing the light behind your subject, creating contrast and a bit of mystery. This is the only rule that you have to follow. It is very simple to do in Blender. You just need a backlight and a key light. Add an area light and move it to the back of the subject and make sure it faces the camera. Add another light for the subject and use light linking to target it for the subject. This trick works for every type of shot and fine tuning is key. Play around with different settings and always adjust to get the right result. Don't forget about compositing and add some color grade and adjustments. Also, camera settings like focal length and depth of field will make a huge difference in achieving that cinematic look. I hope this video will help you. And if you want to support the channel, Make sure to check out the Cinematic Compositor. You will get a 25% discount with the link in description. All of the project files will be available on my Patreon. Link is in the description.